Hello, I'm Sam Orlich, a product specialist for Heritage Audio here in Madrid, Spain. And today we'll be talking about the OST4 version 2.0. Okay, now as far as the connections go, it's really quite simple. The first thing you're going to want to do is take your power supply, included with the unit, of course. Slip that right in here in the back. Then you grab an XLR cable. Now this could be coming from a microphone or maybe a line signal. You can just slip that right into the input. And then you grab another cable. Take the female end of that, slip that into the output. Take the male side of that and put that into your sound card. Or maybe it's a tape recorder or whatever the destination may be. Now, something I did mention before in the features section, but I'd like to repeat now, is if you're using this unit and you've got maybe a preamp and then an EQ following it, instead of having to go from the output into the following input with a cable, you can just simply activate this button and it will be routed internally. Much cleaner and, and smoother. Okay, and one other thing I would like to mention that these are all gold-plated Nutrix connectors. Okay, the OST4 version 2.0 is a very robust solution for all of your 500 series modules. This particular unit can accommodate up to four different modules. And it does follow our OST technology, which is on-slot technology which simply offers independent power supply to each module, therefore providing excellent isolation, filtering, and protection, which really results in the highest potential of each of your modules, especially noticeable in delicate modules such as mic pre's, where you can really notice a much lower noise floor. And a new feature here is that now we've added jumpers, which are much easier to set for the compression linking, which is just up to the top left of each of the slots. Now configured with jumpers. Now this thing does have one trick up its sleeve. As if you see here around the back, there are a button for the first three channels, whereas as you hit it, what it'll do is it'll internally route the output from the first module onto the input of the second, as well as second to third and third to the fourth. What this does, it saves you the physically having to route it with a cable. So a lot of times what people will do is, for example, we offer a 73 Junior 2 preamp as well as a 73 EQ Junior. So if you wanted a very common installation would be having the preamp and then the EQ following that. And then all you'd have to do is just simply hit this button and one would flow directly into the following one. Another fine unit that we offer is the B2500, which is a streaming unit. But this will accommodate any and all 500 series modules, really offering the highest potential for each of them. Okay, I hope we've been able to answer any questions you may have had about this unit. Nonetheless, if you still have any doubts, feel free to get in contact with us anytime through our webpage.